welcome back to the channel me and Karki. so about a month ago i was on the road it was five o'clock in the morning a deer literally ran right in front of my truck like i was literally inches away from smashing this deer would have been a bad day for the deer would have been a bad day for us as well and for the truck it made me think now everybody knows i love led lighting do i need more lighting on the front of this truck because i didn't see the deer until he was right in front of the truck um it wasn't even enough time for me to hit the brakes so in comes today's sponsor which is Oxbeam. Inside our box, we have our wiring harness, nice. It has a relay on the end, has a fuse right there on this end, perfect. Hardware and brackets, I'm assuming. And then we have, perfectly packaged by the way, has foam around it so it doesn't damage the light bar. It's a little heavy there. All right, mounting instructions. We also have on the back our warranty card. Make sure you fill out the warranty card. Perfect, our ox beam sticker. That's gonna go right up there on our wall, our sticker wall. Wow, look at that. All right. All right, this is our Oxbeam 5D Pro Series. Now this is their new series, the 5D Pro Series. That looks amazing. So we gotta figure out where to put this on the truck. All right, y'all, this is a beautiful day in the A. It is February 22nd and it is 80 degrees, believe it or not. Yeah, I wish it would stay like this all year round. The weather is absolutely perfect. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where to put this light bar. Um, I, my first thought was to put it right here on the bumper, let it sit on top. Then I thought it might look better if it was down here. Now, a lot of people have done that, but it's the perfect cleanest look that I've seen. Put it right here. Now, I'm going to have to cut this out, and we'll do that later on in the video. Some kind of way we'll figure that out later. But that's probably where it's going to go. So, first, I need to turn the truck around, and we'll get started. Now this is our LED light bar from Oxbeam. It is their 5D Pro Series, as I said before. Now this is the 22 inch light bar and it fits perfectly here. This is 22 inches from there to there, exactly 22 inches. So the first step would be to snap this piece off. Now it snaps right off, it's one whole piece. Now depending on what year, make and model F-150 you have, it could either be in one piece or it could be in three pieces. Um, some of them have this opening here where it's like three little notches there. But this is the 2015 F-150. It is not an EcoBoost. It is an XLT, but it's not an EcoBoost. So, and it's the V6 model. So there's nothing back here, right? <laughs> so this piece snaps off as one piece, and that is the first step. Now, as I said before, today's video is sponsored by the one and only Oxbeam. Big shout out to Oxbeam for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you've never heard of Oxbeam, they are a big company when it comes to LED off-road lighting. Everything from light pods to light bars to brackets to anything you need to mount your off-road lighting, they have it on their website. So if you want to check out Oxbeam, check out the link in the description below. Now, as I said, this piece pops right off. Uh, if you can't get it with your hands, you can use these. These are trim removal tools. You just stick it in between and pop them right off. It comes right off. Now, as I stated before, this piece should pop in and out. Now, the only reason mine popped out super easy is because these are the only things holding it, these little clips, and I've already lost a few in the past. So yeah, these clips just go on the back side, like so, and then they just snap right into those pieces there. Super easy. And we are done. Super easy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just test fitted, and it looks good right there. I like it. One of the great things about the Oxbeam light bar is that it gives you two options. You can mount it from the side here, and it gives you brackets also to mount it from the bottom here. It gives you all the hardware, all the brackets to mount it. Either way, what's best for you. Now, what's best for us is to mount it from the side, but unfortunately, it looks like we might have to drill. I hate drilling into my truck, but... <laughs> Say hello to the new camera woman. Hi. Well, well, you're the camera woman. Okay, thanks. So, <laughs> so this is what we're doing here. So, this bracket here, bow, has to mount it goes there. Right. The problem is there's no hole there. So I have to drill a hole here. To, hey, I'm trying to talk to the people. Let me talk to the people. Thank you. Give me a second. So I have to drill a hole there like so. The problem is I have this drill and it's not really the best drill. It's, the, it's a great brand, Ryobi, great brand, but this is not the most powerful drill. So it's going to take me a while. Give 
it up to my poor little drill. Oh my gosh, this drill is suffering. Uh, but it did the job though. One down, one to go. <laughs> Y'all, big shout outs to Ryobi. Two holes, it took me 10 minutes. It did struggle a little bit, but it got through it, y'all. Big shout out. Now, I might add, not only was I drilling through one layer, I was drilling through two thick layers of metal. So it wasn't just, this, yeah. big shout outs. Hey, y'all, look at how thick this really was. This was two layers of metal. And look down here. I have cleaned all that up. All right, we're also gonna hit this with some primer and maybe some paint so that it doesn't rust and I can get all up in there on both sides to make sure it doesn't rust. All right, so we hit it with some primer. While we're waiting on it to dry, let's check out our wiring harness. Now it has everything you need here. You see at the top, let me just open it. Like I said, it has everything you need. You have your switch right there. You have your plug that goes to your light bar. Up here you have a fuse, so you don't have to worry about anything shorting out. And down here you have your relay on the other side. So it has everything you need, it's positive, and ground, all you need to do is run it through the truck bed. Right, y'all, check out this supercharged 3.5 liter turbocharged. No, I'm just kidding, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm playing. <laughs> so so like, check out this uh, wiring harness. Now, you have your fuse here, right? This red wire goes to your positive on your battery. This negative either goes to the negative on your battery or to a ground. I might just run it right here, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the rest of this, this end goes down to your light bar. So it's gonna go down there in the grill and it's gonna come out here and plug into your light bar. Now the other part right here, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna run it, but it's gonna come all around and it needs to go into the cab of your truck and there's your switch there. Um, it's probably gonna go down there. So if you see that little, I can't see it, but that little grommet right there is where it's gonna come out and it's gonna go into the cab of the truck. What's good about Ox Beam's wiring harness is that they made it a little easy for you. So this piece here can disconnect. This is the part that's on your switch. So it can disconnect, so it'll make it a little easier. So I'm gonna run this this part from the inside through that little grommet and then plug it in here, make it a little easier. That rubber grommet there, the big one, it literally just pushes in. So check this out. Push it in like that and you can run it right through there and that's access to your engine bay. So just run the wire through there and you're good to go. All right, so I couldn't hold the camera, the light and do this at the same time, but something like this. So when you run it through, make sure you pull that rubber piece around the edge as far out as possible all the way around. So it create a nice flush uh, seal. Now that it is rubber, so it create, it's the only thing that's keeping water and moisture from getting in your truck bed and you don't want that, trust me. So a lot of people splice into this rubber piece and I really didn't want to do that. So I figured this was probably a better way to do it. Now we're back under the hood and you see that little white tab, that is the end of it. And it's gonna plug into that piece right there. That's the end of your wire. Now we gotta figure out how to run this around the edge so it's not sitting on top of the engine bay. Now make sure you keep this wire harness away from any heat, any fans or any type of pulleys, anything that's going to pull it because you don't want that, trust me. Buttoned up, everything's plugged in. Now we just need to see if it works. As with always, it looks like it's about to rain. So we gotta hurry. There it is, Let's see if it works. Oh, it's on, you see that over there by the door? It's on, that's bright. And right, our next task is to cut this so that it'll fit. Now, you see it has this little square part here. It's gonna run right into the light bar. So I'm gonna have to cut uh, a lot of this out actually. So see how it goes. All right, so just an update. I was using this thing and it's actually pretty good, but you see that little bitty blade, it would take all day to cut this thing, but it's good for like the little intricate spots that you gotta in, get into. Um, so we're almost done. We gotta cut this little piece off and then we'll be almost good. I end up using this thing. And I know, I know, it's for wood. It's not for plastic, but if it can cut wood, it can cut plastic. Now, all right, not the best cuts in the world, of course, and I messed up a few times, but it's good. We're gonna try to clean that up a little bit and see if it works. Now, 
if at any point in life you're using any type of power tools, anything that has a blade on it, anything that's sharp, and even though like I'm, I'm almost done, and I was like, all right, I'm almost done, but the thought crosses your mind to put gloves on, just put the gloves on. I was sitting there like, all right, I'm almost done. All right. Just, just, just put the gloves on, all right? Just put the gloves on, all right? Just put the gloves on. And as you can see, my cuts are not perfect. I completely butchered this side, but I can clean it up a little bit. Let's just see what we got. close up here that looks pretty good i don't think we gotta do is clean up um, these lines are kind of off so we're gonna clean up with some of these lines around the edges here make it a little smooth it will be good to go all right there you have it y'all the 5d pro series by oxbeam we got it all put back together we got the trim piece back on and i think it looks pretty good it looks fits the front end very well uh, we did do a lot of cutting to get this uh trim piece so it fit now if you get up close there are some issues here but it's all stuff that can be fixed if you look here, I need to clean up this trim piece, these cuts down here at the bottom. Um, and I need to get some more clips because at the at the top here, the clips are not uh, doing what they're supposed to do. And I actually lost a couple of them. But like I said, it looks pretty good. I love this middle section here. Gives it a nice detail, nice contrast. Now, let's turn it on and show you what it looks like. That is ridiculous. That is brighter than the headlights themselves. Wow. Um, check this out. This is on the back wall in daytime with all these lights on in the garage. That's the light from the LEDs from the uh, light bar. Yeah, dear better watch out now. I can see you. Man, it's bright. All right, this is the view of the headlights. These are just the low beams. These are the high beams. And this is our light bar. Right, it has a spotlight right in the middle and it lights up the sides as well so you can see everything pretty much, all on the sides, everything. This is the view with the light bar with the low beams. All right, y'all, we finished right on time. It just started to rain. Of course it just started to rain. Now. This is the 5D Pro Series Twin Torch Light Bar from Oxbeam. So big shout out to Oxbeam. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Amazing product. Fits very well. It's super bright. Y'all, I can actually feel the heat on the back of my neck. <laughs> Either way, big shout out to Oxbeam. Now, if you want to try a light bar for your vehicle, this is a good option. Twin Torch Light Bar. They have different sizes. They have 12 inch, they have 22 inch. They have even bigger sizes, 32 inch. I think there's even like a 52 inch or something like that. So check out the website. If you want to try it out on your vehicle, link in the description below. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, any advice, anything you have, put it in the comments below. I do appreciate it as always. Thank you for watching another video on the Man Car Keys channel. Until next time, see you later.